These creations are putting the creativity in control. Whether it's traffic lights that can provide surveillance or park benches that are literally designed to be uncomfortable, it could be the power of pink in prison or a bridge designed to slow cars down. This is how our governments are keeping tabs on us as hard-working, tax-paying individuals. You'll never know if there's an officer with him. And designers and engineers are finding incredible ways to keep control and keep us safe at the same time. That's the point, right? At least we hope so. 15 Ways Governments Control Your Behavior With Genius Designs Number 15. Hostile Architecture This urban design concept has different names. Defensive architecture, hostile design, exclusionary design, or anti-homeless spikes. Whatever you'd like to call it, it's often associated with all things hostile architecture. And it often looks a lot like this. Studs or spikes embedded in flat surfaces to keep people from getting too comfortable. It's designed to prevent or impede crime and help maintain order, according to authorities. It also refers to design, features implemented into city planning created specifically to deter people from finding somewhere to sleep. So it's an effective way to deter the homeless from setting up camp. And it's not just spikes. From protrusions on window ledges to bus shelter seats that pivot forward, from water sprinklers and loud music to metal park benches with solid dividers, authorities are finding all sorts of ways to keep people moving. Hostile architecture is revealing on a number of levels because it's not the product of accident or thoughtlessness, but a thought process city planners are adopting. It's a sort of deliberate unkindness that's considered designed, approved, funded, and popping up in major cities around the world. And it works. You want to know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Sneaky Streetlights Streetlights are designed to make our lives easier, but also safer. Driving along a road, illuminating your walk home or run through the park, streetlights are comforting, whether or not they actually deter crime. Traditional streetlights, however, are a massive drain on public finances and a major contributor to climate change. To save money and meet growing public demand for energy efficiency, cities around the world are replacing old streetlights with low-power LEDs. In the smart cities of the future, we need a way to manage when and how brightly public lights shine. But this upgrade can't be the end of the story for 21st century lighting systems. These new upgrades can include cameras, microphones, boost Wi-Fi, monitor weather, whatever authorities need. However, the spread of a new generation of streetlights may also have other less likable consequences, including an increase in stealthy electronic surveillance. Many people aren't happy about that. In many cities across the U.S., it's legal to install these surveillance devices and lights without even alerting residents. The city of Portland is adopting 6,100 new LED streetlights. However, while the local administration says it's not going to put cameras in the lights yet, that could legally happen at any time. Number 13. Smart Spies Millions of people are welcoming smart speakers into their homes, but an investigation has uncovered privacy flaws with voice assistants. A video recently went viral of one device refusing to answer some serious questions. When the question was phrased as, are you sending data to or are you communicating with the FBI, the device came back with, I wasn't able to understand the question I heard which is its regular response when it can't guide you through something it understands. Sometimes it said nothing at all when asked. What's that about? Alexa, do you work for the CIA? No, I'm not employed by them. These are yes or no questions. Are they programmed to avoid privacy inquiries? These devices are pretty good at context for a piece of software but can't necessarily take a nuanced question and turn them into a valid response if it hasn't been taught to. Is Alexa, for example, always listening? The short answer is yes. The microphone on your smart speaker is always active, by default at least, and is constantly monitoring voices in your home in order to hear its wake word. No, Alexa does not record all your conversations, just some of them. According to Amazon, Alexa records what you say only after the device detects your wake word. But still, these devices have people thinking they're smart spies. Number 12. Army Games 
As the world of video games continued to grow, many skeptics thought that it would just be a fad. As time progressed into the 90s and personal computers, television sets, and entertainment systems started to become more accessible, the future of video games seemed like a bright and prospering opportunity. The government was quick to get on board. The U.S. military found itself ahead of the curve and has been sponsoring video game development since the early 2000s. In 2002, the first-person shooter game America's Army was launched for Windows systems and acted as a brand new recruitment system allowing players to explore the military at their own pace. This is the earliest use of U.S. Army recruiting in the world of video games, but it's not the last attempt. Today, at national video game conventions, teams of gamers regularly showcase the benefits of a military career to teenagers. They are members of the Army's official eSports team, a group of video game players who live-stream games like Call of Duty, Apex Legends, and Fortnite around the clock in hopes of recruiting other gamers into the military. Although they previously served in other roles in the Army, gaming and recruiting is now their full-time job. Number 11. Censored Internet Internet censorship in some parts of the world, China, for example, is serious business. Many things are censored from news coverage, preventing many Chinese citizens from knowing about the actions of their government and severely restricting freedom of the press. China's internet censorship is more comprehensive and sophisticated than other countries in the world. Some measures inspired the policy's nickname, the Great Firewall of China. It was deployed here as early as 1996. Methods used to block websites and pages included DNS spoofing, blocking access to IP addresses, analyzing and filtering URLs, packet inspection, and resetting connections. The goal is to shield residents from certain information that the People's Republic of China considers to be countered to the best interests of the government and the people. The Great Firewall of China is considered a splinter net, which divides the global public internet. So the internet inside of China is different than it is in the free world, where access is open and users are free to visit any website they want. Users inside of the Splinternet get a view of the outside world that's controlled by the operators of the Splinternet, which in this case is the government of the People's Republic of China. Number 10. Slow Bridge How do you get people to slow down and enjoy the view? In this case, you force them to. The Laguna Garzon Bridge in Uruguay is famous for its unusual circular shape. It's designed this way to force drivers to slow down. Plus, it allows for pedestrian access along the one-way circular route, including crosswalks that let people cross to either the inner or outer sidewalks of the circle. The Uruguayan government is hoping to usher in a new era for the country, focusing more on tourism and sustainability. Designers of the bridge wanted to devise a way to slow down traffic while also forcing them to look out and appreciate the environment around them. Through the construction of this bridge, officials were hoping to drive visitors and locals to the largely undeveloped coastline. And as you can see, it worked. This lagoon was previously served by a small two-vehicle ferry that required daylight and good weather to operate. The bridge replaced the ferry in 2015, providing a crossing for pedestrians and up to approximately 1,000 vehicles a day. Circular bridges aren't uncommon, however, they are rarely meant for road traffic. The Laguna Garzon Bridge combines the beauty of a circular structure with key functional aspects of its design and the wonder of the landscape. Number 9. Pink Prison This paint was originally created by mixing one U.S. gallon of pure white indoor latex paint with one U.S. pint of red trim semi-gloss outdoor paint. Officially known as Baker Miller Pink or Drunk Tank Pink to some, it's a tone of pink which has been observed to temporarily reduce hostile, violent, or aggressive behavior. And if you get yourself thrown into prison, you might find that your cell walls have been painted this color. Not only that, your uniforms and your shoes might even be the same. They say Baker Miller pink is the only color scientifically proven to calm people down and reduce aggression, which is very important in a correctional facility. Authorities did extensive research into the effects of the pink color on emotions at a correctional facility and named it after the institute directors Baker and Miller. Inmates were put into the pink cells for 15 minutes at a time in the hope that the color would somehow calm them down. After nine months, the facility reported no incidents of erratic or violent behavior among these prisoners. So the experiment was declared a success. As word got around about the benefits of pink decor, 
psychiatric units, and other holding areas were painted this color pink. Soon after, a number of correctional facilities across the U.S. followed suit. Number 8. Robocops Singapore's autonomous roving robots have hit the streets as part of a trial to support public officers in enhancing public health and safety. Meet the mall cop from the future, except the future is now and this spy robot exists. His name is Xavier. These robocops can detect alleged undesirable social behaviors, including parking in prohibited areas, improperly parked bicycles, motorcycles on footpaths, jaywalking, whatever authorities need from a good spy robot. If one of those behaviors is detected, Xavier triggers real-time alerts to the command and control center and displays appropriate messages to educate the public and alert authorities. It's fitted with sensors for autonomous navigation, a 360-degree video feed to the command and control center, and real-time sensing and analysis. It also has an interactive dashboard where human officers can receive real-time information and be able to monitor and control multiple robots simultaneously. The adoption of robotics technology like Xavier can be used to enhance operations and reduce the need for actual human officers to do physical patrols. This RoboCop's got it covered. These robots are highly versatile and can be customized for all sorts of applications in different fields and operational environments. Number 7. Cardboard Cops Who knew law enforcement could be this easy? A recent study into the effectiveness of cardboard cutout police officers holding radar guns did dramatically curb speeding when placed in the right location. Plus, unlike humans, they never demand raises, meal breaks, or vacation days and they're being used in various locations around the world. In a weird way, cardboard police officers like this are kind of like a scarecrow for bad drivers. During a study in Canada, one cardboard cop dubbed Constable Scarecrow turned out to have a dramatic and immediate effect in reducing speeding when installed on busy roads. But the study also found that it was most effective for the first few days, with it gradually becoming less effective until traffic returned back to normal. The study found that it was not particularly effective on quiet residential streets but worked well on high traffic roads. Still, the evidence could see the law enforcement ramp up the use of cardboard cutouts. To keep the public on their toes, the cardboard cops are often accompanied by real-life police officers. So, while these cop cutouts will never write a ticket, know this, a real cop is likely very close by. Number 6. Camden Bench its surface discourages any activity but sitting. It contains no crevices or hiding places. Its surface repels paint and it weighs two tons. Is this the future of park benches? The designers of the Camden bench think so. The bench has been called a masterpiece of unpleasant design. And quite literally, it's designed to deter people from sleeping, skateboarding, and engaging in activities generally not allowed in most public spaces. It's an example of hostile architecture. Other recent names have included defensive or disciplinary architecture. Call it what you want, these catchphrases describe many design concepts which are designed and attached or installed in public spaces, restricting undesirable behavior. Is it a modern reinterpretation of the park bench for an urban setting? The jury is out. This bench has attracted some major disapproval from people. It's usable only as a bench to sit on. That's it. It's a lump of angular concrete with just enough shape to suggest it might be a bench but has none of the normal indicators that it is indeed a bench. And since you can't lay on it, critics have said it's oppressive to the homeless. It isn't called a masterpiece of unpleasant design for nothing. Number 5. Gate Recognition Facial recognition has made it to the mainstream and is a relatively secure method of securing mobile devices for many of us. But this new human recognition technology could make it extremely difficult to move through the world without being under a constant state of surveillance. A team of experts has come up with gate recognition. Instead of recognizing people by their faces, it can identify human subjects based on their body shape and how they walk. For those thinking they can try to walk differently to avoid identification, it apparently is not that easy. Gate analysis can't be fooled by simply limping or hunching over because this technology analyzes all the features of an entire body. Unlike facial recognition, which requires close-up high-resolution images, gate recognition is capable of identifying people from over 165 feet away without the subject ever directly facing a camera, even with backs turned. 
accuracy currently measures in at around 94%, which for China is considered more than enough for commercial use. By contrast, facial recognition deployed in U.S. airports has an accuracy rating of nearly 99%. But over time, as optimizations are made and computer hardware improves, it won't be long before true real-time gait analysis is possible. Number 4. Crosswalk Illusions In a small fishing town in Iceland, an exciting development in pedestrian crossing safety has just popped up. Almost literally, a new kind of speed bump has been painted that appears to be 3D by way of a cleverly detailed optical illusion. Not only does this innovative design give foot travelers the feeling of walking on air, but the 3D painting also gets the attention of drivers who will be sure to slow down their speed once they spot the seemingly floating zebra stripes. An environmental commissioner came up with the idea after seeing a similar project in New Delhi, India. They were researching creative ideas on how to slow traffic when they stumbled upon the project and came together with a street painting company to create the effect. They experimented for several weeks before perfecting the technique and painting the crosswalk. The visual effect is striking, as the optical illusion shifts depending on your perspective. From the air, the white stripes jump up, making them appear as a column of walls, while at ground level, the bars seem to hover just above the ground. Right now, the project is experimental, with this town and others around the world seeing what effect the creative 3D crossings will have. Number 3 anti-smoking billboard. A pharmacy in Europe really wants to encourage people to quit smoking, so an ad agency in Sweden created an interactive billboard for them that coughs every time it senses someone smoking nearby. As a reminder of the effect of those smoking around you, the digital ad can not only sense cigarette smoke but can tell when someone is actually smoking by detecting the glow when they light up. And as you can see, Smokers display a range of reactions when they hear the coughing and realize where it's coming from. In the video explaining the concept, the coughing actor explains how the pharmacy hopes to inspire smokers to quit the problematic habit. Our mission is to help you live a longer and healthier life, he says. That's why I'm here, to help you get new, healthier habits. The advert ends with a photo of products that help smokers quit, such as nicotine patches and gum. The campaign went viral. The online video showing passersby being surprised by the ad when they smoke near it has been viewed by millions. It isn't filled with shock tactics, but the technology behind the anti-smoking billboard will hopefully lead to smokers making healthier decisions. Number 2. Portland Loo This loo, a unitary public toilet designed by the city of Portland, Oregon, is advertised as the best way to deal with major public health problems, such as drug use, prostitution, and vandalism and more are coming to the region. It's not supposed to be a comfortable place. It was named for the city where it was patented in 2010 after officials decided to design a better outdoor toilet. This loo has one purpose, allow the user to do their hygienic business and leave as quickly as possible. It's been described as looking like a cage for a gorilla. It has features such as blue lighting said to make it difficult for intravenous drug users to find a vein for injection. The toilet bowl is made out of prison-grade stainless steel, perched above a concrete slab floor. One amenity is the toilet seat. It's made out of fiberglass because stainless steel can stick to skin in freezing weather. There's no sink to prevent users from washing clothes. Outside the loo, there's a spigot that dispenses only cold water. No mirror either, of course. So nothing to smash and with the reinforced stainless steel walls, these toilets can take a beating. The paint has anti-graffiti powder in it so that, say, a cleaner will easily wipe off a Sharpie marking. Number 1. Placebo Buttons When you're at an intersection, have you ever pressed the button at a crosswalk and wondered if it really worked? Or hit the closed door button in an elevator while suspecting that it may have no effect whatsoever? You're not alone, and you're probably right. The truth is that the world is full of buttons that don't actually do anything. They're known as placebo buttons. This means that they're buttons that can be pushed but provide no functionality. For example, in New York City, they say only about 100 of the 1,000 crosswalk buttons actually function. Other cities, such as Boston, Dallas, and Seattle, have gone through a similar process, leaving them with placebo pedestrian buttons. In London, which has 6,000 traffic signals, 
pressing the pedestrian button results in a reassuring wait light. But that doesn't necessarily mean that the green man or pedestrian stage and traffic signal design terminology will appear anytime sooner. Crosswalk signals were generally installed before congestion had reached today's level, and over time, they started to interfere with the complex coordination of traffic lights. But while their function was taken over by more advanced systems, the physical buttons were often kept rather than being replaced. The future is here whether we like it or not, and these genius designs are the proof we need. They might not be controlling our behavior necessarily at this very moment, but it won't be long before they're able to.